This is a cooperative housing building. This means that the people who live in the building also own the building. This is great for the people who live there, but at the same time comes with a lot of responsibility. For example, they have to worry about things like keeping the finances straight, keeping the maintenance of the building up to date, paying utilities, and dealing with issues of other residents in the building. This can be a lot to deal with, so usually the cooperatives hire a ma property management company to help handle these day-to-day -day activities. The property manager does things like collect the monthly payments, keep up with the maintenance of the building, pay the utilities, and deal with resident issues. But the important thing to remember is that the property manager is not the owner. The cooperative members are the owner. And so at the end of the day, it's their responsibility to keep up with all of these items, not the property managers. So the ultimate question is, how do we manage the management company and make sure they're doing their job right? First, you should interview many management companies. When you're interviewing companies, you should think about what's important to the cooperative. For example, do many people speak Spanish in the cooperative? Are people extremely comfortable with technology and prefer to use the internet? Based on these things, you could ask questions like, do you have a property manager who speaks Spanish? And can we use the internet to pay the rent? Second, it's important to know your contract with the management company. Things like, when do they provide the financials every month? And how often will they do inspections? These are things you need to know so that you can appropriately monitor the management company. The third thing, and maybe most important, is communication. To make sure communication works both ways, between the property manager and between the cooperative. Communication should be fluid between the cooperative members, the board, and the property manager. For some items, the members will communicate directly with the property manager for things like repairs, and the property manager will then work directly with the members. For other items, the members should talk to the board, for example, about any overarching issues that they have with management. In addition, the property manager should report to the board for any approval on payments or repairs, and the board will then respond about updates to the members. The board will also communicate any issues with the property manager. Sometimes the communication between the board and the members gets broken, so options to repair that are to hold regular membership meetings where you discuss issues or send out monthly newsletters. Also, there can be issues with communication between the property manager and the board. So how can you fix that? Once again, monthly members or monthly meetings or setting up um, an email chain with them, and even assigning a liaison from the board to communicate with the property manager. Whatever works best for your cooperative. I hope this was helpful. You can go to mikasa-inc.org for other helpful trainings, or email training at mikasa-inc.org to schedule an on-site training for your cooperative.